Hello and welcome to Unit 3 of Interchange Book 2. And in this video, we're going to look at evaluations. Okay, so let's get started. Joanna and Keith are trying to find a venue for their engagement party. Should we try and call the Secret Lodge? I've already looked at the Secret Lodge. It's too expensive. Oh, okay. Could we try the mill? The food there is great. I love the food there too. I just don't think it's big enough. We're inviting so many people. You're right. The flying pizza? Have you not heard? They had to close that place down. They failed a health inspection. What? I always thought it was really clean and elegant. I did too. My sister said it closed because they found too many cockroaches in the kitchen. Ew, gross. Is the Half Moon Inn still open? Yes, it is. I love that place. Is it close enough for everyone? Uh, it's about 20 minutes away from the city. Will there be enough parking spaces? There aren't enough parking spaces, but we could organize a bus to take everyone. Excellent. Let's give them a call. Okay, so in this video we are going to look at evaluations. And evaluations are a judgment, an opinion, or assessment of only one thing. Okay? So if we look at these two examples, there are evaluations of one thing. The park. The park isn't safe enough. This is an evaluation of the park. There aren't enough police officers in the park. Okay? So these are our assessments or evaluations of only one thing. So the first structure of evaluations we are going to look at is evaluations with nouns, okay? And the noun that we're going to look at in this example is ants, okay? And you can see in the picture there are lots of ants in someone's house. So the first thing we need to ask ourselves is are we satisfied with this amount of ants? Do we need more ants? And obviously we aren't satisfied. Having ants in your house is generally seen as a bad thing. So with this we can make our evaluation. There are too many ants. So with nouns it starts with there then the verb to be. Then we have our evaluation too many. So too means more than desired. We have many. And the reason we have used many in this example is because ants is a count noun. Okay, We can count one ant, two ants, three ants, four ants, five ants. It's a count noun. Okay. I also think it's really important to mention that when you use to as an adverb, the evaluation is always negative, okay? So for example, if you said there is too much new technology, there are too many national parks, something is too good, something is too funny, something is or someone is too intelligent, okay? Every time this is negative, okay? Two means more than desirable, okay? So remember two as an adverb, which we will use um, in the structure of some of these evaluations. It's always negative, okay? Now let's look at our next evaluation with a noun. And the noun is pollution. And in this picture we can see we have an industrial city with lots of pollution. So again, we should ask ourselves the question, are we satisfied with this amount of pollution? Do we need more pollution? And obviously, we aren't satisfied. Okay, pollution is a bad thing. So the structure we would use is there's too much pollution. And again we start with there, and then we have the verb be, but it's is this time, and then we have too much 
Pollution. And as you can see, this time we've used much. And the reason? Pollution is a non count noun, okay? We can't count pollution. We can't say one pollution, two pollution, three pollutions, okay? This is incorrect. So when we have a non count noun, it's not too many, it's too much pollution. So now let's look at our next noun. And our next noun is rain, okay? And we have a picture of a very dry piece of land. So let's ask ourselves are we satisfied with this amount of rain? Do we need more rain? And this time, of course, we aren't satisfied, okay? This land is very dry. It looks like it could use some water. We need more rain. So this time, because we aren't satisfied, the evaluation is structured differently. We would say there isn't enough rain, okay? And this word enough means sufficient, okay? There isn't sufficient rain. So the structure again is there plus verb B, and because it isn't sufficient, it's a negative, and then rain. And of course, rain is a non-count noun, and that's why we've used isn't, okay? You can't count rain. You can't have one rain, two rain, three rains, okay? This is incorrect. Now let's look at our next noun, parking spaces, okay? So, 17 people need to park at our office building, but we only have 14 parking spaces. Okay? There aren't enough parking spaces, okay? There isn't a sufficient amount of parking spaces. Of course, parking spaces is a count noun, okay? We can count our parking spaces. So the only difference to the last one is that instead of isn't enough, we use aren't enough. Okay, there aren't enough parking spaces. However, if the situation was different, and for example, 14 people need to park at our office building, and we have 14 parking spaces, we're satisfied this is sufficient, it's perfect. So we can say there are enough parking spaces. We don't need to make B negative, there are enough. It's sufficient, it's perfect. And the same goes with the rain, okay? This is a lovely rainforest, it's nice and green, and we're satisfied, okay? So we can say there's enough rain. And B, which is in the form of is, is a negative, okay, because we have the sufficient amount. There's enough rain. It's perfect. So now we're going to look at some adjectives, okay? And the structure of evaluations with adjectives is a little bit different. So the first adjective we are looking at is hot, okay? And if we look at the picture, we can see someone doesn't look very happy, okay? He's sweating and he looks very, very tired. So, are we satisfied? Do we want it to be hotter? Well, of course not, okay? We aren't satisfied. It's too hot. So, the structure is we have the subject, it, which refers to the weather or the sun. The verb be. And then we have to plus the adjective, okay? And you might have noticed it doesn't say it's too much or too many hot. With adjectives, we don't need this, okay? Okay, we don't need this. All we need is it's too hot. And in this example, we have an ice cream and it looks like it's melting, okay? And the adjective we're looking for is cold. Well, are we satisfied with this ice cream? 
do we want it to be colder? Of course we aren't satisfied, okay? It's not cold enough. So we have um, the subject, it or the ice cream. Verb B, but it's negative because it's not sufficient. Then we have the adjective. And then we have enough. So what you might have noticed is that with adjectives, the adjective comes first and enough comes second. Whereas with nouns, the noun would go after enough, okay? But it doesn't with adjectives. Adjective first and then enough. And now if we look at this ice cream and we use cold again, are we satisfied? Do we want it to be colder? We are satisfied, okay? It's a perfectly fine ice cream. So it's cold enough. That's all we need to do. So we don't need to make this negative, that's fine. It's cold enough. And as you can see, the adjective comes first, and then enough comes second. So we are satisfied. We don't use a negative. It's cold enough. So let's do some practice with this, okay? So we want to decide where we're going to put enough. So we have a boy, he looks very bored. And there isn't a sufficient amount of interest, okay? So it's not blank interesting, or it's not interesting blank. So it's not enough interesting. So why is that incorrect? Well, of course, interesting is an adjective, okay? And enough always goes after the adjective, okay? So we would say it's not interesting enough. And how about this one? Would we say he's not enough strong? Well, again, no, we wouldn't. Strong is an adjective. So we'd say he's not strong enough. Okay, and now in this example, we have um, lots of milk, five cartons, and it's not used with a negative, so it's sufficient. And it says, there's milk for the whole family. Okay, so would we say there's milk enough? Well, no, because this time milk is a noun. So we say, there's enough milk for the whole family. And, okay. So the next one, um, we're using two. There's two blank smoke. Okay, so if we keep it blank, okay, if we keep this space, it doesn't work, okay, because smoke is a noun. So we need uh, many or much. And it can't be too many smoke because smoke is a non-count noun. So we need to say there's too much smoke. Okay? There's too much smoke. How about this one? The movie is too blank scary. Okay, so straight away you can see this is an adjective, so much can't go in there, or many can't go in there, so it needs to stay blank, okay? The movie is too scary, okay? That's the full evaluation, the movie is too scary. So that's everything for evaluations, so if you would like to try the activity below, thank you and goodbye.